oil of oregano very potent very powerful herb today i am going to discuss about oil of oregano i'm lily and i'm the founder of detox naturally private group on social media facebook and there is a link underneath this video make sure that you join us if you haven't joined us because we are amazing we share a lot of information and tips and what worked for us uh, so in this particular video i want to share about oil of oregano I use it. It's absolutely amazing. It kills parasites, fungus, candida, uh, viruses, and a lot of parasitic infections. However, we need caution because it's very, very strong. And sometimes if we use it for longer than two weeks, it might kill the good bacteria. And we don't want that. We want a good microbiome. In other words, we want a lot of good bacteria in the gut so it can overpower the bad guys, the bad bacteria, the parasites, the fungus, the mold, and so on. Okay? So, the idea here is to use small doses, increase gradually, see how the body behaves, how the body responds, and increase gradually. So, I posted this in our Facebook group. And people, I have so many comments, I mean, like, two, almost 3,000 people uh, reached this post and a lot of comments. And people are saying that they love this stuff. I'm not going to read all the comments, but just some of the most important uh, comments. So, Sally is saying that, for her, it's the best natural antibiotic. It's amazing. So she's saying, if you inhale two drops in a teacup of boiling water daily, it stops a post-nasal drip and associated wet cough. Thank you for sharing this. So she's saying that uh, it's very, it's, it's brill it can be used in many brilliant ways, but it must be 100% pure. So make sure that your... Uh, uh, oil of oregano is 100% pure. Okay, so people are saying that it kills bacteria like antibiotics. That's why I just take it for no more than two weeks. 10 days, two weeks, max three weeks. See how the body responds. Okay, uh, Shaina is saying that she only takes the recommended two drops max because uh, she's not 100% sure how else to use it. Um, okay, what else are... Um, people are saying people are saying that essential oils also okay so we are talking here of oil of oregano and essential oils the oil of oregano and oregano oil and oregano essential oil they're three different things but essential oils are extremely extremely highly concentrated so you got to be very careful with that one as well they uh, she's saying fiona is saying and should never be taken internally so she would be very careful recommending people to do so okay um so essential oils essential oil of oregano i don't know i don't take it internally internally what i what i take i take oil of oregano it's a different thing i don't take the essential oil of oregano i take oil of oregano i buy it at the health food store it's organic 100 percent clean and i take a drop or two or even three when i do my anti-parasitic uh, regimen okay and just make sure that you don't do more than two weeks at a time. People are asking how about sinus infections and drinking it. It's awful. Yeah, you know what? I like everything that's hot, that's spicy, like cayenne pepper, for example. I develop a taste of loving it. I kind of like brainwash myself with the good stuff. That's the way to do it. And now I love all this, like hot and spices, because the spicy ones, they kill parasites. So I grew to... to love these spicy um, herbs and foods uh, michelle is saying she puts two drops in her ear mixed with castor oil for an ear ache from swimming and it works wonderfully so again but she mixed it with a carrier oil like castor oil so if you want to use it on your skin i would probably like michelle is saying uh, use it with a carrier oil like castor oil or even coconut oil okay uh, so Angela is saying that uh, essential oils are like supplements um, and quality is all over the place. Uh, she is mentioning Young Living essential oils and doTERRA essential oils. I use both. Uh, they, are ex they have extensive quality testing and requirements. So for, yeah, so basically that's what she's saying. Okay. And she's mentioning some reflexology okay uh gwen is mentioning that oregano oil is an amazing natural antibiotic 
just be sure you are taking with the prebiotic and probiotic to replenish the good bacteria in the stomach yes that's the the best thing to do because you know what as i mentioned uh it's very powerful it's very potent uh it can kill the good bacteria that's why you have to take some probiotics i usually make my own fermented foods and you only need just a tiny little bit a day because you have to give the fermented foods some foods and what are the foods for fermented foods for the good probiotic the prebiotics and what are the prebiotics the good real foods like fresh vegetables and fruits these are the prebiotics especially root vegetables they feed the good bacteria the probiotics so just in case you want to have some um uh not antibiotics but oil of oregano for example or essential whatever people are saying oregano oil make sure that you eat fermented foods or take prebiotics probiotics and prebiotics okay so basically and you know people are keep talking about this i'm not going to go into that because there's so many comments but oil of oregano what have you experienced with this one because it's absolutely amazing it's an amazing anti antibiotic in if you need a natural source of antibiotics oil of oregano it's a good one okay so make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel i have a lot of information like this i talk about natural herbs and uh foods that heal that help to heal and detox in particular and also come join our detox group um also i have a program uh it's called the uh, detox naturally program and i do it like i don't know every other two months or something like that where i take people and we do live classes and people detox and heal they are having great results in just one week um, it's absolutely amazing we deal with the detoxification of the liver in the first week and then after that we are um, working on getting rid and eradicating parasites funguses candida bacteria and mold and so on and so forth it's an amazing program i strongly suggest you are joining the program because you will be happy that's all i can tell you okay blessings and i'll see you in the next one cheers to your health